Go ahead, finish. Finish this. I'll be outside. <coughs> you're like... You're like a goddamn cockroach, you know that? <laughs> <sighs> <coughs> what the fuck were you thinking? <clears throat> Aiding a sworn enemy of the United States. In wartime, no less. <sighs> NBA are no enemies of mine. <coughs> Same with the VC. And that's why you decided to murder thousands of American soldiers with that goddamn nuke? How many soldiers we got scattered around all over there? Most of them were scared shitless. They could give two fucks about any of it. They just want to make it home alive. The problem is they get home and their heads are all scrambled. Or maybe they find their girl humping on some fucking asshole who got a deferment for heel spurs. So, you were doing this for the soldiers, is that it? And what about the money you were hoping to make? What was that for? <laughs> to ease your conscience? <laughs> we both took off the talk, it never happened. It's a bunch of bullshit dreamt up by the NSA. You talk to me about killing American soldiers? Brother, the fucking US government's been doing that. Mm. And for what? God, I used to admire you. Thought you represented everything great about this country. But you are just as greedy and selfish as everyone else. There are no dominoes, Johnny. Vietnam falls. Who gives a shit? It's a fucking backwater. Everybody's living in goddamn huts. And half of them don't even have shoes on their fucking feet, for Christ's sake. At least my way had a chance of ending things. Are you finished? It appears so. Come on. Let's get that warhead out of here. What the hell are we gonna do with this thing? Just trust me. Oh, I was afraid you were gonna say that. Rotorhead 1, moving into position. So that's your bird! Didn't I say trust me? Mean to pry. Will you mind telling me who just flew off with the nuke? Oh, that's Gary. He's a great guy. You'd love him. Oh, Gary. Who the fuck is Gary? <laughs> He's a man who knows people. He'll probably even manage to squeeze a reward out of the Pentagon. Oh, don't worry. I'll cut you in. <laughs> oh, goddamn. I'm famished. Hey, how about we stop for some shrimp po' boys? Ugh, I'll pass. What's the matter? Your weak-ass constitution can't handle some stick-to-your-ribs grub? That shit's practically a culinary disembowelment. <laughs> okay. How about we stop for some ice cream before I go talk to Marshall? Oh, ice cream? Who the fuck am I, your girlfriend? Hey, man. Dress fit. 
<laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> yeah, sure, now he's got a sense of humor. Had to drop by the drugstore. Little Babette got herself sick. Hmm. This part of town's run by a man named Tony D'Arazio. From what I was able to piece together, he's a real fucking weirdo. Some kind of savant when it comes to numbers. Then he must be the one who runs Lou Marcano's books. Runs his books, launders his money. Hell, he even manages Lou's relationships with city officials. It's Tony's job to make sure their asses stay greased. How do I get to him? Well, that's where things get interesting. Tony lives in the penthouse on the top floor of the Royal Hotel. Elevator access is restricted and the rest of the hotel is crawling with Tony's goons. Well, he can't stay up there all the time. I'm gonna need a schedule for when he comes and goes. I've been watching this cocksucker for a month now and he's left exactly one time. That was because one of his men fucked up. Took a pipe to the poor bastard's left arm. Well, it looks like he's got a front business he uses to issue bribes and launder lose money. And another one that soaks up funds from the city. I hit him. He overreacts. Then I get my opening. And fuck up things between him and Lou in the process. Be careful with this one. Just because Tony's a goddamn spastic doesn't mean he won't cut your balls off if given the chance. city clerk's office and your friend said you could help with this guy blackmailing me what kind of juice makes you someone worth blackmailing my office approves new projects under development i i fucked up cheated on my wife and this guy jimmy cavar filmed it come to find out the girl worked for cavar too and now he owns you he's forcing me to rubber stamp phony building projects and cash the checks for his company cavar construction probably seen the signs over where they're building the new city hall Thing is, Caval doesn't really come around unless there's a problem. Don't worry. I'm pretty good at causing people problems. Some of his men hang out around downtown. Look, I ain't a bad guy. I, I just made a mistake is all. Keep your head down, Lenny. I'll pay Caval's men a visit. See what they know. Old Caval? Run over cover! <laughs> he got my pen! Only D is gonna bury me. You hear? Bury me. Worrying about the wrong man, Jimmy. After I was discharged, I wandered around for a couple of three months. Did some odd jobs. I got arrested once or twice for fighting. But I always kind of knew I was going into seminary it just took a little while for it to sink in, I suppose. Once I was done with seminary, Bishop Jenkins sent me to St. Michelle's home for colored boys. <laughs> that orphanage was a pile of shit from the day I got there till the day I left. <laughs> but I loved it. <laughs> I loved having those boys. You ever heard of Enzo Conti? Think Sammy mentioned him a time or two? He's 61, old school mob, been running Barclay Mills for decades. He started off exploring the railroad and moved on into industrial waste. All the heavy construction equipment and supplies for the casino, steel, concrete molds, that kind of thing, was all brought in via Enzo's trains. All that shit has to be worth millions. Enzo didn't just hand it over to any cat who walked in the door. 
Marcano's a felon, so he's got to have a partner, someone who's legit. If he does, that person's buried deep. I went through the paperwork. It's a goddamn maze. Which means we need to get Enzo to tell us who it is. According to my sources, Enzo's not a big fan of the casino. Thinks anyone who's not Sal Marcano's gonna end up getting fucked. So I might be able to use that to flip him. Probably have to squeeze him pretty hard, but it's worth a shot. He's still involved in the railroad and has to store all that industrial waste somewhere, so I'd start there. Once I take his district from him, I'll give him a call from the motel, off him and out. And if that fails, you could always give him a Hanoi hangman. <laughs> <laughs>